Hey everybody. Um, so Mrs. Bear here. So it is Tuesday, October 5th and I am not in the building. So I wanted to go over exactly what needs to get accomplished today, um, with all of your essays. So, um, here on the screen, I'm just going to walk through all of the different steps. So step one is to go to Schoology and watch these video instructions, um, which you're doing now. Step two is, are you finished writing the claim and the introduction for your essay? If you're not, then what are you waiting for? Because you are seriously falling behind and need to get those finished. Step three, go ahead and plan out your body paragraphs, one, two, and three. We talked about these yesterday in class. Remember that if you are in English one, you are doing a standard ACIT paragraph. If you are in English two, you are doing an ACIT see it paragraph. Remember that you can use either the graphic organizers and then place the information into your essay, or you can just type directly into the actual essay assignment. It's up to you, but please remember that I will be grading uh, body paragraph number three against the rubric for a minor assessment grade. Step four, are you done with your body paragraphs? If so, begin working on your conclusion. More on that in just a moment, because I'll go over the planning document for that that's in the folder. Um, and then just some reminders, this is still due at the end of the week, regardless of whether or not I'm in the building. And if you haven't started your body paragraphs yet, then you are seriously, seriously behind. Uh, please don't waste today by making the choice to not work just because I'm not there this is the expectation and I'm not changing the due date um, because next week is the district unit exam. So it's really important that you guys accomplish everything that you need to accomplish. So a couple more reminders and then you'll be able to get to work. Um, first things first, let's talk about the conclusion. So if you go to uh, Schoology today, um, you're going to notice in your actual uh, resource folder, and this is the same for both English 1 and English 2, uh, when you go in here, you will see the conclusion planning. So if you open that up, like so, um, and then open up the document, you'll see that it looks very similar to the introduction planning document. It's just in reverse order. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to start off by typing in your claim one more time, but this time put it in some different words. You don't want it to look exactly the same from your introduction paragraph. Then the second box is going to be all about providing a summary of your paper. So basically look at all three of your body paragraphs and give one to two sentences summarizing each of the main points. And then the last box is for you to leave a lasting impression, um, make it count, make it impactful, uh, maybe connect it to the world um, in the real setting and offer solutions to whatever your claim is. So this is the conclusion planning. And remember, as always, that you don't have to uh, type into the planning documents if you don't want to. You are welcome to just go straight to the essay document, which as a reminder is the one that actually says essay attached to it and then just immediately start typing your essay in here and if you do use the planning documents don't forget that all of that information has to be transferred into this document and you have to make it look like an essay including a title for full credit. So if you have any problems with any of this, uh, send me an email. 
Um, I may be online at various points today, depending on how I'm feeling um, and check in my email. That way, if you need help with anything, um, I'll be able to help immediately. So I hope that's clear. So once again, just let's look at the slide just so that we way we're all on the same page about what the expectations are. So as a reminder, step one, you just did. Step two, write your claim and introduction if you're behind. Step three, do your body paragraphs. And finally, step four, move on to your conclusion once you're done with body paragraphs. And this is due at the end of the week. So get it done, do what you need to do. And hopefully I will see you back in the building tomorrow. Bye everybody. I'll see you very soon.